The Signum Surgical Biohelix Anal Fistula Device is designed to oppose tissue for repair of mature, cryptogenic, transphincteric, and non-branching anal fistulas. The device is provided sterile and is intended for single use. Biohelix contains a single synthetic, bioabsorbable implant in the shape of a helical coil. The device is designed for introduction and implant delivery under direct visualization. To prepare the device, open the box and remove the instructions for use documentation. Then open the foil pouch containing the Biohelix anal fistula device. Grasp the body and shaft of Biohelix on both sides of the retention features of the tray and lift upward to remove the device from the tray. Warning, failure to locate the internal opening may lead to persistence of the fistula. If the internal opening cannot be reliably identified or accessed, an alternative method of treatment should be considered. Perform a fistulotomy or partial fistulectomy preserving the inner and outer sphincteric muscle structures. Create a mucosal slit approximately 1 cm across the center face of the internal opening to part the mucosa at the site of implantation. Use a secure knot to attach a length of size 2O absorbable suture through the suture attachment loop that is located at the distal end of biohelix. This suture will be used to help position the device, concentric to the internal opening of the fistula. Tie the free end of the suture to the C-ton or the fistula probe at the internal fistula opening. Gently pull the C-ton or fistula probe, leading the suture through the external opening until the distal end of the device is abutted against tissue at the mucosal slit and is positioned concentric to the internal fistula opening. It is recommended to attach a small hemostat to the distal end of the suture at the external opening to prevent accidental retraction of the suture. To deliver the implant, start by retracting the green lock on Biohelix's handle in the direction of the arrow until the lock snaps back into the unlocked position. While supporting the handle body and applying light pressure to the tissue surface, steadily rotate the gray knob in a clockwise direction for three full turns. A series of audible clicks will be heard. The three indicator lines will disappear into the handle body when the implant is fully delivered. The gray knob can now be rotated in a counterclockwise direction. This action automatically releases the implant from the delivery device. After a minimum of three full turns, three indicator markings are visible to show that the delivery system may be removed. The delivery handle should be slowly retracted pulling the suture through the internal opening. If using the suture as a drain, cut the suture from the delivery handle and apply a stop knot, such as a figure of eight knot. Safely dispose of biohelix. Biohelix must be used only for the repair of anal fistulas and must only be delivered at the internal opening of the fistula. Biohelix is not suitable for use in tissues that have a direct anatomic relationship to major vascular structures. Do not implant biohelix in an excessively infected or abscessed fistula tract. In fistula cases involving acute inflammation or excessive drainage, a period of stabilization utilizing a draining seton should be considered before placing the implant. Biohelix is for single use only. Do not reuse or re-sterilize this device as this may lead to unpredictable performance or failure. Remove the implant if not completely delivered. Refer to the instructions for use for the list of adverse events and potential complications, 
precautions and warnings.